you guys. It's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. Out here with the with my perros. Mucho perros. I don't speak. No comprende. Mucho espanol. I don't even know my grammar very well. I could say, um, yo habla poquito español, I think. Mi amo Raquel. <laughs> That's all I know. Oh, my name, Rachel. So I used to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the less eloquent way of saying it. So I I used to work in South Austin off Riverside back in the day. And um so there were a lot of Spanish speaking customers and they would come in and let me know what they needed in Espanol. And um and so they would be like, un, un cigarros rojos, which was they wanted a pack of, of Marlboro Reds. <laughs> That's what they wanted. <laughs> so anyway, so it helps though. It helps to know a little bit of Spanish. Yeah, yeah, you'll learn Spanish if you actually, if you actually study and do the work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good language to know. You know, there's a lot of similarities between Spanish and many other um, languages. And so once you know Spanish, it, it it's a lot of other stuff you can kind of take a guess at what it is. So, yeah. What are you eating? What is that? Hey, you. Psh, what is this? <laughs> Give me that. No. Oh, God. I don't even want to know. I don't know and I don't want to know. Here. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> it actually feels nicer now than it did earlier. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? I'm <laughs> sorry. Every time, every time I hear or say, what's up with that? I think of that SNL. What's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> Who else knows what I'm talking about? Uh -oh. Remember, I opened the dishwasher. That is yeah, the yeah. So, so, yeah. So Savannah said that if you want to know what the weather is like here in Texas, sometimes she said, she said, open up your dishwasher in mid cycle, and when all that hot steam comes out in your face, <laughs> that's Texas. <laughs> that's so true because so many people think it's just hot here it is hot but it's also extremely humid not really we're, we're pretty close to the to the ocean considering the rest of the country oh yes it was yeah it was this yes florida was absolutely this this humid although i guess you're kind of right i think they had like more of a breeze and the heat just kind of like would zap the humidity so they had humidity in the morning yeah, it rained but like every day. yeah but not necessarily it wasn't as i don't know it they're still very humid yeah. but but i i do agree with you savannah there is definitely a difference um because i remember i remembered one time we were in florida because we vacationed there before and i was like i could never live here like i would cashmere shh, hey hey no you're not doing that to him anymore today um, anyway, I would never have been able to have done my hair. It was just like my hair would always be frizzy. That would be my hair if I lived in Florida. Like, it would not be good. So, yeah. Other than if you have hair Yeah. I'm getting, for those of you that have been watching, I'm, I'm really getting annoyed with my hair. The whole curly thing. It just doesn't really curl. It's just wavy. It just doesn't know what it wants to do. And I don't like it. It's messy. I think I'm just going to go back to doing whatever I want with it. <laughs> so. I don't have the patience. Pretty girl liberty. Pretty girl liberty. To the liberty. To the pretty, pretty girl.
Mm-hmm. I didn't get the frizzy wavies. Yeah, you got the bone straight hair, girl. Bone straight hair. I wish I had hair like that. I could just shower and let it dry, and it would look good. That would be amazing. Amazing. But that's not the case. I have the kind of hair that if I let it, <laughs> if I let it do that, I <laughs> look like I woke up under a bridge. <laughs> Blondie, I see you slinking off. What you up to, girl? Where are you going? You better get back over here, girl. Did you mention the dogs over there? Did you mention the dogs no, you heard? No, no. Yeah. Sounds like our neighbor's dogs are getting up to no good. Yeah. The, like the dogs out. behind our house. The other property. Yeah, I think they got into a fight earlier. There should be a shirt. You should make a shirt that says, I am a part of the community. Ah, uh, Velocity, don't be getting attitude. <laughs> you also have a shirt that says, don't be getting an attitude. Yeah. <laughs> I see a uh, buddy over there watching. <sighs> he works a lot. Yeah. He doesn't work that much in No. He was out in fine fashion this morning, though. I'll oh, tell you what. Man. He was out there, oh, look at that, getting it. Yeah, I tell you what, man, Liberty, she's born to be a show dog. She's constantly stacking herself up. She looks really good. Look at that. Mm-hmm, Bella does it too. She's got all legs right now, too. Yeah, she's getting tall. She's a daddy long legs. Liberty, you're pretty. You know that? What did you do, pretty girl? Oh, I just had to say, the artwork, oh, my gosh, you guys, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Somebody, Some of it is, um, you know, obviously more professional than others. Some people have more experience, maybe even age. But I just want to tell you how much I appreciate all of your entries and your hard work. Um, absolutely stunningly beautiful. And um, I'm thinking of a way to, like, to really try to give credit um, in a big way, like, to everyone. So what I may end up doing is... Um, having a, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out what I can do. I was thinking about like having a page on my website where we just have fan art, but, um, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but, um, I would like to do something where people can just, where everyone's stuff just gets a little, you know, people do you know a little look. Ah, 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 ah. No Liberty. Stay away from my tree. It looks dead, but it's not. I swear. Hey, quiet. Some people do an um, on the end of their videos shh. where they talk, and then they do like a scan of all the fan art that people have done for them. Yeah, just... but I want to have a place where people can like scroll, scroll through and look at it. Mm -hmm. um, even though the winner is getting that, that picture, the framed picture of Preacher's Win, I would like to have a place where people can upload their fan art and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, it's just super appreciative. And just in general, like everyone that you know, watches and is here on a regular basis watching and commenting and being a part of the channel. I just really thank you guys a lot. It means a lot to me. This isn't the easiest thing to do. You know, I get a lot of, I get a lot of criticism. You know, I put my life out there for everyone to see. And so when you do that, people are always going to try to use that against you. And, um, and you know, there's, like, Facebook is like a toxic, toxic place um, for me. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a place where people go to try to criticize me. And you guys here on the channel, those of you that actually know who I am, that watch and really know the truth, you guys mean the most to me. You know, it. you make my day and you make it worth worth doing, you know. And um, And it just means a lot to me. And I hope you guys know that, that it's... I try not to be one of those YouTubers that's like, oh my God, I love you guys so much. Like, I'm not trying to do that, but I do want you to know how much you guys mean to me because you do. Today was a hard day for me. I got criticized pretty hard by some random person on the internet that doesn't even know me. But I have a big heart and sometimes things can hurt my feelings. And you guys just, you know, you guys help really show the reality of the situation, which is that you know, um, there is value in what, what I do here and there's value in the channel. And, um, 
all of your positive comments. I just, it just means so much to me. And I hope you know that. I really do. Um, I really do. So yesterday I spent my day, hey sugar, I spent my day getting my, all my paperwork together. So all my receipts from the last two years, um, all of my, um, things I've purchased, just like everything, I've gotten it all together. Um, I've uh, hired a company to do all my business management, and so, like, my taxes. Hey, Velocity, stop it. Go. Get away. Now. Get. Velocity. Go. Lose the attitude. No, I don't want you to lay down. Get up. Now. Come here. Now, Velocity. Come here. Up. That's not your stick. Quit it. Quit. That's a bad dog. Possibly. Sounds like a plane to me. Um, anyway, so I've got this business management company that is going to handle all of my stuff as far as... Um, all the business side of it that way I can focus on just the dogs and that's going to be really huge for me to kind of free up my mind my energy um, to be better that's a plane preacher not a bird look at him look at him, look at him. preacher it's a plane it's not a bird it's a plane look at, can you see that up there I doubt it I can hardly see it <laughs> preacher get back over here it's a plane come on it's not a bird, man. It's not a bird. It's okay. You're good. Do you know that there's, have you ever seen that thing where it's like, is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's Superman. No, it's, he's like, I don't care who you are, you get out of my sky. Come on, preacher, back over here. Hustle. Hurry. You good boy. You good boy. Velocity, stop. See, I'm telling you guys. Velocity has that quirk, man. If she didn't have that quirk, the pack would be a lot more stable. But as you see, she overreacts. You know, she doesn't always know how to be. Definitely, definitely um, a problem maker from time to time. So, anyway, well, I got to get, I got to go take all this paperwork to that company and drop it off with them. And, um, but anyway, yeah, it's taken a lot of stress, um, and just worry from my heart, you know what I mean? Of like trying to make sure that I manage all of that. Cause believe me, the last people you want to make mad is the IRS. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. So I'm trying to do things the right way from the start. That way, um, doesn't bite me in the butt. I used to actually work for the same business management company. So... I'm actually familiar with um, companies that have <laughs> that have done that. They come to our company and and um, and they're in trouble, and we have to kind of help them out of it. And I'm not wanting to be one of those people. I know better. <laughs> so um, so anyway. So but the cool thing is that all the work that I did there enabled me to really know how to do mine. So um, so that's really awesome. It just goes to show that everything you do in life means something. You know. Every job you have is, is a skill that you don't know how it's going to help you later on, but, um, but it all comes together. So anyway, I'm going to hit the road and, uh, I know he's such a sugar bear. He's such a sugar bear, sugar bear, squishy face, squishy face. <laughs> he's such a good boy preacher. What'd you do? Good boy. What'd you do? Do do good boy. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to get to it. But once again, like I said, thank you all for your positivity, for your support, for your um, honesty whenever I've helped you and you comment and you're like, hey, I followed your advice and it helps. All of that matters. And when you comment that kind of stuff, it really helps because the people that um, that think that I'm no good and I'm not doing anything, you know, those people need to see um they need to see that kind of stuff, you know, they need to see that we actually are making a difference here. So hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk at you later. Bye.